Hello and welcome to CIA. I am Mayank and in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a recurring email campaign in Martech. Okay, let's get started. So first I have a segment. I have created a test segment already. This segment I uh, generally use for uh, all my tests. Uh, I have only one contact in this. So as you can see, this is just one contact. Next, we need to create an email. I will create a new test email. I'll keep it blank. I will just give it a name. Save it. So, this is a default simple email from Motec, as you can see here. So, next, let's move on to campaigns. I will create a new campaign. We'll call it a recurring email campaign. We need to set this to yes so that uh, the same contact can be enrolled to the same com uh, campaign again and again. Go to campaign builder in the segments, choose a segment. Next step, choose the action which is in this case send email. Okay. So here I will choose the recurring email test which I just created. Okay, so I will just refresh just to remove this tag here. Back in the campaign builder. Next action is going to be the change campaign. Because we are uh, going to enroll this contact to the same campaign, so we will choose the, this campaign, restart the campaign. Okay, add. So now you see uh, we have a basic campaign ready. I have one contact in the test segment, so this contact will be enrolled in the campaign. Then the email will be sent to it, and immediately after that, uh, this contact will be re enrolled. So the same process will go again and again. Uh, every time my cron job executes but we don't want this we want a certain time interval in between this so what we need to do is in this section choose at a relative period of time so when your last uh, action executed which was send email after that what we need to do is we need to put a waiting time in this case by default it is one day for this tutorial I will choose only in minutes and I will set it to five minutes and then update so now you see what will happen is after sending the email campaign will wait for five minutes to re-enroll this contact to the same campaign so this is uh, how you create a recurring, a recurring email campaign so what will happen now is the test segment contact will be enrolled the email will be sent and then it will wait for a certain amount of time in this case five minutes and then re-enroll the contact to the same campaign apply close I will publish this save and close so now okay so now the campaign is ready what we need to do is we need to wait for this contact to get enrolled in this campaign and then send email so right now as you can see none of the action has been taken I will not wait for the cron job I will just execute the trigger command from my console Okay, so the campaign has been executed. I will go back, refresh. As you can see, here the contact was added and email was sent or scheduled. So, as you can see, the email was sent. So, I will go to my email to check. Right, we have received this email. So, now I need to wait for next cycle when the campaign uh, will be triggered so it will wait for five minutes so I will track after five minutes how it goes after some time I have executed the same command again to trigger the campaign okay so this email is right now pending as you can see but the contact was definitely enrolled 
So let me try to execute the command again. Okay. So see. So yeah. Now you can see that one contact was added, but on executing of the campaign, there was two. There were two emails sent. And uh, let me now check again. Okay. So I got the email. So as you can see, this was 10 minutes ago, and this is just now. So this is how you create a recurring email campaign in Motic. I have some examples uh, which I uh, which I created for uh, some client to send recurring email. I'm going to show you that. So as you can see, this is a price alert campaign, and uh, what is happening here is we have a certain. Uh, we have a certain subscription type which is uh, which is uh, being used to subscribe to the price of uh, uh, energy which is going up or down and uh, for that someone can subscribe to uh, this everyday price if it is going up or down and based on that they submit the form of the value and uh, then based on that uh, everything goes into the price lump and then it checks if the user has, has subscribed or not if the user has subscribed as you can see this is a condition and uh, then the email is sent and uh, in the email after sending the email uh, there are four type of subscription one is for daily one is for weekly one is for bi-weekly or uh, let's say 15 days or for monthly so user can subscribe to any of these kind of uh, uh, any of these kind of subscription uh, duration and uh, based on that we have created uh, this uh, recurring campaign so this is how it goes so I hope you understand how to uh, use this and uh, that's it for this tutorial please uh, tell me in the comments how I did uh, with this tutorial and if you have any questions uh, do let me know in the comments thank you have a good day